to the action that happened on the weekend, the club championship action that happened on the weekend, and no better place to start than right here. Scottstown won this game after extra time against Trillick by 17 points to 113. It was an absolutely gripping contest, but Scottstown got over the line after extra time. Matthew, what did you make of this game? Yeah, it was an incredible game of football, it really was. Um, like Scott's own, they seem to be losing their grip in the entire stage of the game. Like the goal coming from Shawnee O'Donnell with an excellent performance, to be fair, for Trillick. And um, Scott's own were really struggling. Then Scott's don't get a bit of a lead going. Trillick then trying, trying to get back into the game, they get a lead going. And then Scott's do get um, a point to get it towards extra time. And then it was a ding dong battle in extra time, wasn't it? It really, really was. Like Trillick never gave up. To be fair to them, like a lot of people are saying that Tyrone football hasn't been as strong in previous seasons, but Trillick definitely challenged that statement in many ways by their performances in this championship. Like they beat Cross McLean, which isn't an easy thing to do, and they got Scottstone to extra time. And even you look at Scottstone's players, like the more I look at Scottstone's team, I I wonder how they haven't won all Ireland yet. I really don't like you look at Jack McCarran, Shane Carey, Kieran Hughes, Rory Began, uh, Ryan O'Toole, Conor McCarthy. But those are all intercounty players, and not just intercounty players, star intercounty players at that. Yeah. Like Conor McCarthy was was Monaghan's best player this year. The huge brothers have been immaculate for Monaghan. Rory Began has been one of the best keepers in the country over the last few seasons. Shane Carey has been an ideal lean pin in the Monaghan team. Ryan O'Toole got that goal against Toronto earlier on in the year, and he's in this team as well. Like So Scots don't have a lot of depth, and I'll definitely back them against uh, Watty Grimms there. And what I would say about them, They've had more tests than what the Grand Plain have, arguably. They've had to come across Kilku and they've had to come across a very, very tough Trillick side as well. So to come across them two tests and come out the right side of it, that's what the players kind of needed. They needed a bit of confidence to get them going. Now they have that. They have the talent. There's no doubt they have the talents. They could go on a further run. I'm definitely sure of that. And they definitely give it to Watty Graham's game in the final then, no matter what. But Trillick definitely deserved their flowers as well. Outstanding performance from Dim Lee Brennan. You wonder how he's not selected at the throne team. Like I think maybe he's just walked away himself. Yeah. And he should probably come he back now because he's just an incredible footballer in fairness to him. Like Kieran Daly was in the under 20 team as well. Richie Donnelly, I know, was a very good player. And they've done all this without Matty Donnelly in the team. And what about mm-hmm. Matty Donnelly? Did you see the clip where he was he had um, a leg in a brace and then with his left leg still kicks it over the bar? He still <laughs> has it, even on one leg. Outstanding, really, and brilliant club content you love to see. But hopefully he's back soon. And Trillick have definitely not disgraced themselves in this awesome championship. But Scott's done march on. And they've done absolutely outstanding in this championship so far. Well, that's it. Look, look I've talked to a few people that are, you know, Monaghan diehards, and a lot of them would have said that Jack McCarron kind of is seeming to be the missing piece. And McCarron's just now making them tick in the forward line. And the reality is, there's one thing that they have shown. Like, let's be honest, they've shown a hell of a lot of experience in getting over the line. In the Kill Kill game, when the game was there to be won, Scottstown found a way to win it. In this game, Trillick were one point up going into the last dying seconds after Lee Brennan slotted over that 45, Conor McCarthy finds the equaliser, sends the game to extra time. Like, they've shown that they don't rattle under the pressure. Mm. And that's that's why you, people are considering them as honourable champions and such a great team. Because of the, you know, the t- tending or tenderness to, you know, get back into the game in so many instances. In fairness to what the Grimm's then, we'll get on to them later. They found a way at the weekend as well. So that what what makes these Ulster finals so intriguing in many ways, because both sides have come through very, very tough tests. What the Grimm's in the semi-final especially. So it, it, it definitely points towards a very, very good final. Like Conor McCarthy get that last point. Like it just epitomises his year, doesn't it? Like I think it was 212 or 213 for wing back for Monaghan. May I remind you, wing back from play? That's incredible. And he got a deserved all-star this year and fair play to him for that. He's a transformed player, really, isn't he? Since he's gone to wing back. I know he scored that hat trick against Tony Gall during COVID in the league. And he did absolutely understand. And Joe Roddy was um, complimenting him that day. But ever since he's gone to wing back now, it's just been a tactical masterclass of a move from Vinnie Corey, I think, who initially put him at wing back during the league campaign. So I think it's it's been brilliant for his career. It's been brilliant for Monaghan. And it's been brilliant for Monaghan and Scottstone as well because it gives um, them an extra outlet as well. Not just kind of guy 
defend admirably and uh, do all of that across the pitch, it adds kind of an extra forward there as well, in a way. So you have seven forwards to trying to vie for scores and everything like that. And Conor McCarthy's had an outstanding year in fairness to him. And Jack McCarron, I'll definitely echo your point there. He was um, transferred from another modern club. I'm not sure if the top made which club, club it actually was. But he's done outstanding in this championship as well. I think he scored four points yesterday, three from threes. And um, he definitely looks to be have the missing key piece in this uh, Scottstone team. And they've done absolutely outstanding in this championship in fairness to him and uh, on the march.